I have seen... Oh. oh. Hello. Hey, welcome back to the channel, or if you're here for the first time, what's up? So there are some differences to the rig since last time we saw it at Capitol Reef. No more clamp holding the guide scope on and no more vice grips for a counterbalance. So I was able to find a hot shoe to dovetail adapter for the guide scope. It was a little bit spendy, it cost me 24 bucks, but since it was the only one I could find, I had to bite the bullet get that. I think it'll be a little more stable. Won't have the guide scope falling off. Also I had an old telescope that had a four pound weight on it. That was still a little bit too much. It was actually threaded on the counterbalance so I took my saw and cut it in half and that cut off all the threads and left a hole big enough just to mount onto the counterbalance shaft. I drilled and threaded a quarter twenty hole so I could screw this nut in and so it makes it a lot easier to balance the camera. Also I bought a new dovetail mount for the camera. Uh, this is the old one you can tell there's a cutout right here so it would only go on the mount in one position so that's the balance you got so this makes it a little easier to do that too. Hopefully that's gonna improve my guiding and we'll find out. Tonight we're going to shoot the Pleiades. It's a star cluster in the constellation of Taurus. It's also called M45 if you're into that kind of thing. It's a bunch of hot blue stars, medium age. They have a dust cloud nearby that causes a lot of reflective nebulosity. So you get some really pretty blue colors. And that's what I'm going to try to achieve. So it comes up at a little after 10 right at the moment. Uh, I'm going to shoot from about 10 to about 3.30. And hopefully for the next couple of nights I'll get about 12 hours of data. And then we'll process that and see what we get. So let's go shoot some hot blue stars.